This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 23rd day of August. I'm James Spann. Eyes are on Isaac. But uh, around here, things will be quiet for a while. Before we get to Isaac, let's take a look at some of the sky cam shots. These were captured at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. Who would be awake at that hour? That's the uh, Jasper sky cam up in Walker County, nice and quiet. We'll go down south. That's the sky cam in Chilton County at Clanton, looking at the city hall. And way down south, that's one of our sky cams on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay at Daphne. And the sky is clear. Well, for us, we are in dry air, and we pretty much stay in dry air for a while. Uh, it feels good this morning. Temperatures are in the 50s again. Man, it has just been so nice this month. It's just like the summer heat's been a no-show in August, which is so odd. And look at Fort Payne sitting at 55, Coleman 59, mostly low 60s around here. We'll see temperatures easing up in coming days, but still not too bad for this time of the year. And yes, it is dry. This is rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening of next week, suggesting hardly any rain here. The bigger rains with Isaac should be well to the east on the Atlantic coast. Uh, Miami, up toward Jacksonville and Charleston, the Outer Banks. And I do believe that graphic is correct in line with our ideas. All right, tropical weather fans. Of course, we'll talk about Isaac. Uh, behind Isaac, we have TD-10. That might become Tropical Storm Joyce. And a new wave is emerging off the coast of Africa. Another one to watch. Satellite view this morning showing Isaac. Still, you know, there's a lot of convection there, but this thing is not organized. The convection is not really around the center. The, the sustained winds are only at uh, 40 miles per hour. But it's slowing down a little bit, so that will help. But on the other hand, it's got interaction with islands coming up that will prevent this from really getting its act together. I don't know if it could become a hurricane in the short term. All right, models. All right, this thing should be close to Key West in about 96 hours. And remember, the biggest rains will be along and east of the center. And uh, a number of the models bring it into the far southeastern Gulf. But from there, it should begin to recurve northeast before affecting Alabama. There's the GFS ensembles, and it's just a whole bunch of black in there. But the, the, if, you, if you draw the center line with the ensembles, it is a runner up through the Florida Peninsula and then recurving up through Georgia and the Carolinas. And, of course, on that track, Alabama is on the dry side. And we think that is the correct solution. The European is still the outlier, but notice how it's shifting east. You know, yesterday it had the thing coming in around uh, – what, past Christian, Mississippi. Now it's got it at Pensacola. It's just moving it east with time, and I think it will continue to do that. Here's the Canadian. I think uh, that's very realistic. Uh, this is a tad east of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the Hurricane Center track, but it's got the thing near Jacksonville uh, Monday night of next week. Check the NAM, and it's farther east. It, it, the NAM is suggesting this thing won't even uh, reach Florida, which is an outlier to the east, kind of like the Europeans, the outlier to the west. Uh, analogs, you know me, I love the analogs. Uh, and we know now all of a sudden uh, we've got now a split uh, with really more shooting across the southern gulf, which, uh, again, I don't think is, the in, is correct in this case. Uh, it, it shows Baker from 1950 on here. That was a hurricane that came up into Mobile Bay, but I think that's very unlikely. Uh, and, and I th thought I'd show you the new GFS. This is just in. This is the 06Z GFS, valid uh, Tuesday afternoon. And it's got the thing inland around Lake City, Florida. And I think that is very realistic. And again, Alabama's on the dry side. We would have no rain, maybe a little bit for Dothan, but uh, nothing significant here. So let's look at the official track coming from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they bring it, uh, again, across the islands, very close to Hispaniola uh, tomorrow night. And remember, mountainous there, that's going to disrupt this thing. They've got it as a hurricane as it approaches. I'm not so sure it gets quite to that strength, and it weakens to a tropical storm. It's got to come across eastern Cuba. It'll be up there close to Key West late Sunday night, early Monday morning, and then they've got it just a little west of Tampa Bay as a, uh, a hurricane, minimal hurricane, late Monday night. 
Uh, I would not be shocked if it's a little farther east in there, but the effect, it's the same one way or the other. It's mainly going to be a big rain producer. This will not be some big destructive uh, hurricane. Uh, Flooding is the issue, and I firmly believe that most of the rain should be over by the time the Republican convention starts in Tampa. I just don't think it's a problem there. Um, And again, I just don't think it affects Alabama or our Gulf Coast, the central Gulf Coast. All right, uh, quickly, let's look at TD number 10, higher latitude storm. Looks like there's some wind shear. The uh, symmetry is not that good. There's the uh, official hurricane center track. They do not bring this to a uh, uh, hurricane. They keep it a tropical storm. The name will be Joyce. Maybe close to Bermuda early next week, but it should recurve well east of the United States. All right, let's check modeling here. What do you say? This is the... GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock today. Still got troughing here. Down below that, our forecast, it's easy. Just kind of sunny days and fair nights. Highs around 90. um, Lows in the 60s. Same thing tomorrow and Saturday. We might mention a slight chance of a shower, but just a very small chance. Most everybody should stay dry. Uh, We've got uh, Isaac uh, on the eastern tip of Cuba. Here's Sunday. Isaac is near the north coast of Cuba. And again, look how dry we are here. I think we could almost drop the slight chance over the weekend. There's Monday, 594 Heat Ridge, uh, well to the west. A little weakness here allowing Isaac to turn north down below that. Uh, Isaac is near Key West. Again, this is midday Monday. By the way, there's the uh, NAM. Just thought to show you that. Uh, it's got the thing well east, but again, the NAM is an outlier to the east. All right, we'll go to Tuesday. This is uh, midday Tuesday, 1 o'clock. This run of the NAM, or the GFS, has Isaac south of Apalachicola. But again, the 06Z run has it farther east. And I just think that's the proper track. It's not a big difference, but instead of Apalachicola, it's closer to Cedar Key. Heavy rains coming up into us, South Georgia. Then on uh, Wednesday of next week, it's near Macon. And again, on that track, there could be some rain for the Chattahoochee Valley, uh, Eufaula, down to Dothan. But I w- wouldn't be shocked if it's farther east than that. Thursday, it's uh, up into the Carolinas. It's a week from today and moving out. So, again, uh, very reasonable confidence here in the rain shield with this thing staying east of Alabama. Still, it could change, but confidence is pretty high. We'll check the end of the forecast September 7th. The uh, 588 heat core west of the state, little uh, cool air mass dropping in here from the north. But we've seen some indications that there could be some pretty little hot periods there in early September. Maybe the heat that we did not see this month will show up some next month. It's always hot at times in September around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News later today. If you have time at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.